morning and welcome to Wake Up Wildcats. I'm Emily McKay. And I'm Riley Price. Today is Wednesday, October 20th and is a B-Day. Today's weather will be in the high 60s and will be sunny. For today's lunch, you can choose from smart sliced pizza, cheese, or pepperoni. Tomorrow, you can choose from cheese calzonets and peanut butter and jelly. Miss Steadley would like to congratulate last year's yearbook staffers, Jonathan Jordan, Alexa Kundra, Ali Bourgeois, Kinsley Rose, Nari Kim, and Mackenzie Thompson for earning a first-class rating in VHSL Media Awards. This is the second highest rating a yearbook can get and is the second year in a row earning such high marks. Great job, yearbook students. If you're interested in cheering for the winter basketball season, come see Coach Taylor during lunches at the table on Thursday, October 21st. Seniors, next Thursday is your absolute last chance to have your senior photo taken with candid color. Scan the QR code on the screen or in the halls to make your appointment. If you have used an outside photographer, Miss Dudley must have that photo by October 22nd. Underclassmen, makeup photos are Thursday, October 21st. Please see your homeroom teacher for the schedule. If you have a retake photo taken, that is the one that will be used for the yearbook. Speaking of yearbooks, this week is the last week to order yours and get free icons with the purchase of personalization. Visit jostens.com for more information. Let's have a battle to see who is the most spirited. During all lunches October 25th through the 28th, buy links for $1 each to make a chain. The class with the longest chain on homecoming day wins the spirit stick and bragging rights. The chains will be hung around the stadium for the homecoming game. Who will be the most spirited? Seniors, juniors, sophomores, or freshmen? Congratulations to the golf team for placing third in the state tournament last week in Abrington. Also, congratulations to Julia Rafter who qualified to play in the girls' state tournament Monday in Harrisonburg. When a person has an intellectual disability, it means that they learn slower. Because they learn at a slower pace, they don't learn as much as other people might. A person with an intellectual disability may have difficulty understanding what other people say or mean, have a difficulty learning and concentrating, or they can act younger than their age. To understand how a person with an intellectual disability processes information, try this really easy activity. All you have to do is count all the F's in the given phrase. You should have counted six. If you did not count six, you probably missed the F in the word of. Because when we pronounce the word of, the F sounds like a V. So our brain skips over the letter when we are looking for it. Did you have to slow down, concentrate really hard, or go back to count again? Do you feel like your brain tricked you? If so, this is how a student with an intellectual disability feels daily when they are learning. So remember to always be kind because all brains work at a different pace. Finally, congratulations to our 2021 homecoming court. Seniors, be on the lookout for king and queen voting. Well, that's all for this morning. I'm Emily McKay. And I'm Riley Price. Wake up, Wildcats. And make it a great day.